Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Hello, hello and welcome to Winner Home on Afternoon Express brought to you by Private Property. My name is Danilo Acquisto. Now, if you have not been following this exciting series yet, where have you been? Winner Home is South Africa's premier interior design reality competition and our design duos are busy transforming three cluster homes at the Eye of Africa Estate in Johannesburg into lavish living spaces, one room at a time. Their aim, to get the nod from the judges at the end of the competition and be chosen as the winners of 100,000 Rand. But you also make a difference. The design duos that receives the most online votes from you, the viewer, will receive an additional cash prize of 20,000 Rand. So if one duo impresses both the judges and you at home, they could walk away with a combined 120,000 Rand. But at the end of the day, the biggest winner is the one lucky viewer who wins their choice of one of the homes decorated by our design duos, a prize valued at over 3 million Rand. And if you missed us last week, let's catch up very quickly. The design duos are busy working on their spare rooms and it's an exciting showcase of out-of-the-box thinking. Previously on Win A Home, our design duos worked their fingers to the bone to deliver exquisitely designed spare rooms. Team House and Leisure were supremely confident in their walk-in closet and home office space. What do you think will be some of the criticisms for this challenge? That is too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Team VC's relaxation room had the judges getting very comfortable. Oh, it's yes. really cool. I like it. It's quite a cool room. And Team Habitat's library turned all the right pages for our guest judge. It's so rich. It's so busy. It's so team too much. I love the, the too muchness. In the end, the judges couldn't find fault with one room in particular. This is just absolute heaven. The only negative is that it's not mine. And so, Team House and Leisure pick up their second consecutive win, leaving the other duos feeling a little disappointed. How dare they win again? There's a lot of pressure on the design duos as Team VC and Team Habitat want to break Team House and Leisure's winning streak, while Banel and Seppo are feeling the heat to maintain their position as competition leaders. Could the next challenge be the game changer? Contestants, welcome to your next challenge. The next 10 days are probably going to be the most difficult of your design careers thus far. That's because this week's challenge is a double challenge. You'll have just 10 days to coordinate tiling, paint, basin installations, toilet installations and more to create two show-stopping bathrooms. Both your master bathroom and your guest bathroom need to be completed by deadline. Contestants, good luck. Go forth and design. Double bathroom challenge. Sure, I mean, we've never done bathrooms before. So it's gonna be double trouble. I mean, you're <laughs> double the nerves, double the drama, and like trying to get it all together In as best as we can. That's gonna be quite tough, what do you think? Yeah, but we, we're gonna just break it into two. So Liso is gonna do like the guest loo, and I'm gonna do the master loo. So, We'll try and see how everything works together nicely. We are worried now about our budget because we feel like it's a little bit too small for two bathrooms considering that we need, like Ben and I have ideas of dropping walls and... I know, right? Oh. Plant boxes. <laughs> and building a new plant box. So we scared that that won't all fit into what we currently have. Our design duos each get a cash budget of 300,000 Rand, which they then subdivide into a budget per room. Now, this this is the budget over and above the incredible, generously sponsored products from Caesarstone, Plascon, Grundig and Bulkatex, as well as their Gibbert and Grower products for the bathrooms. In fact, the jurors receive over 300,000 Rand in sponsored items, of which 140,000 is for the sandware and taps alone. So the cash budget for the bathrooms is to cover all other design elements and is allocated from their overall budget for the house. 
They'll have to work very carefully to ensure that there's enough money for the remaining rooms. Team VC plans to spend 31,000 Rand from their cash budget, while Team Habitat has allocated 40,000 Rand for the bathrooms. Team House and Leisure originally budgeted 27,000 Rand for the non-sponsored items, but with the 3,000 Rand that they won in the previous challenge, their new budget is 30,000 Rand. So with those budget sets, all that's left is to design, design, design those bathrooms. We're meeting up with Tian and we're looking for tiles. This duo is really cool to work with, um, great energy, they don't take themselves too seriously and they have fun and ultimately this is what this process is about and I think it's showing in their room concepts um, that they have a sense of humour. Tian, so this is what we're thinking of. Mm -hmm. We want to keep the space still light and quite warm for the owners. Perfect. And also just to contrast the colours, we'd like to go for something that imitates wood. Neutrals that kind of like fit in the bit of your pastels. Okay, yes. perfect. So what options do we have here? And the options we had was that tile over there, mm -hmm. which is way out of our price range. Yeah. And this one over here, which is not really my favourite. But you guys won the previous challenge from last week, so you've got extra cash that you could put towards your favourite tile. Okay, oh, forget about that. <laughs> I think this vanilla no and the mm -hmm. middle yellow would work so well. Yeah, that's lovely. It's and a nice combination. And everything else will be white, so it'll fit in perfectly. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> For me, the, the strength is the combination of Teppo's technical background in interior design and Banele's artistic vision for rooms. And it's the combination of those two that, that's their winning formula. We are at Plascon Spaces for a colour consultation today and we're super excited because we love colour. So we are doing bathrooms and we heard that you're a colour fanatic. So what we are concerned about is more of a, it's a moisturised space and stuff like that. So we want walls on our walls and other yes. issues that you know we are facing. So I'm using all white marble kind of look and tiles oh, to brighten up the space. But mm. we're looking for a colour that will complement the white. So is it a small space? Is it a, is it a sunny space? Is it... So the space thing? doesn't have a lot of... Uh, Light, light coming in, it's kind of like small, so we want to use like a bright color in order to like at least brighten it up. Yes, make lift up the, yeah, the, lift the, up the space. The, the space. Oh, okay. So I'll, I looked at more of a, what's that color, of your bleached meadow. Oh, that's a beautiful aqua color. Mm -hmm. If you don't get a lot of light, it might be a bit dark, but mm -hmm. if you want that depth and that cozy environment, then most definitely go for that. And in the other bathroom, we were also thinking of having a bit of a contrast as well. Um, I was thinking maybe something similar to this. Rolling Hills. Oh, Rolling Hills. It's more aqua. It's a beautiful colour option. Mm -hmm. And it's quite complimentary. You can actually use the colours both in, in the same space. Oh. And they work together beautifully. So, um, since you've decided on the colours, do you want to get a test apart? Awesome. Let's go. Good. Okay, let's go. Kitchens and bathrooms by Plascon is specially formulated for those spaces and Team VC are happy to get samples before they commit. Paint in the bathrooms is also quite a contentious issue. Hmm. So I think with Nero's advice, we're going to be able to use it carefully and effectively so that it lasts longer. And here are the tester parts. These are your 250 mils. Let's mix the colors. What does it do? How does it work? Oh, those are, if you notice, mm -hmm. those are all the different tubes with all the different colours. Mm -hmm. Those are called colourants. Mm -hmm. So the colourants are poured into the machine and they go down into the tube. And everything is formulated according to the system. So every hardware store that provides, that sells Plascon has this machine and they have this machine as well. Awesome. So there won't be any colour difference. Oh, <laughs> great. The kitchen and bathroom is a beautiful product. It has silver technology and you can mix it in any of the different colors that you want. You can paint it on your walls and your skirtings and your ceilings and you can paint it even on steel. If you have a cabinet in the, in the bathroom and you just want to revamp it and it's melamine, you can apply your melamine primer and apply the kitchen and bathrooms, which is stunning. And it's, it's 10 times washable. That's the most amazing part. We have our tester little bottle mm -hmm. and we're going to try it out on our bathroom wall and see if it actually works in the space or not uh, because of previous encounters. <laughs> I hope it works. I hope it works. Yes, I hope this time it works. We've we learned. We don't want to make the room cold. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> 
grower, new experiences. Usually we're shopping for fabric, now we're shopping for taps. <laughs> and it's fabulous. It's, you just have all these taps, square ones, ones that save water, round taps. Silver. Yes, gold. I was, yes, yes, charge it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking while this guy's giving us a presentation. Welcome guys, my name is Javi Sekani. I'm the grower Libra technical expert. We offer all the different shapes that you're looking for. We've got the pin handles, we've got the curve handles, we've got the square handles. So it just goes with the look and feeling of your bathroom and how you want to design it. But remember, when you're designing your bathroom, your tap needs to match your bath and your basins. So if you're going with the round, obviously you go with the round tabs. If you're going with the square, you go with the square tabs. And your bath also needs to match the tabs and the basins needs to match the tabs. And also guys, please bear in mind that as in South Africa, we're experiencing a drought and it's in fact all over the world. So we need to make sure that the products we're picking, we're responsible and we're playing our part. So we do have a variety of water saving products that you can choose from. You can have a look and enjoy the feeling and then design your own bathroom. Good luck. Renovations and designing of your bathrooms can be a mission. That's why it's perceived out there. But it's easy, you need to get the look, you need to get the feeling, and also you need to choose the right product. We have different ratings across the world, making sure that the world is green. With Growa, you have all the solutions to meet all those requirements within the industries that you're in. Remember, it's always minimum consumption and maximum enjoyment. What do you think about this? I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I love it too. I like the fact that these tabs like have an aerator underneath them, hey? It's so green. Yeah. So green. And what do you think about this joystick doohickey over here? Oh, it's also nice, hey? Let's visualize. Mm -hmm. And this will definitely work. I yeah, pleasure. Brilliant. 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 Clean, clean lines. Yes. Look at the shower head. You can see yourself. You can turn around. Turn ah, around. turn on the tap. I love yeah. it. Brilliant. Love Brilliant. it. Yes. I love Lifestyle Ceramics showroom. It's absolutely stunning. So many beautiful spaces, and I'm actually so inspired to do more with yeah. our bathroom. She's more inspired to take selfies. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, I love it too. So, well, since you couldn't have a bathtub in the guest bathroom, yes. what do you think of this? I love this one, I love it. I think we should go with this one. We're growing and we're looking for the perfect tub, as Sepo would phrase it. So th that's like the perfect one we're going with right now. Perfection. Perfection. And tab, what do you think of the tab? The mixers? The mixers. I love this one. Yeah, what I think this one, one, that one looks better because of the rounded edges. Mm. And the height as well. Like, it doesn't compete to the tub. With the tub, true. It just yes. really complements yes. it. Gala. Yes. <laughs> that's it. OMG. Right by the door. GG. Why would they put such a big, beautiful shower right by the door? Well, just like my light at Glow Lighting, it's the same situation oh. at Glow Wow, uh, My word, I just wanted to charge it. Oh my word, talk about singing and dancing in the rain shower. Listen, seriously though, in the real estate industry, a well-designed bathroom can contribute significantly to the value of a home. So for the design viewers, not only will this affect the overall look of their home, but it can also impact on the chances of winning that 100,000 Rand at the end of the competition. After the break, Team Habitat and Team VC seek advice from their mentors. Don't go anywhere. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Grundig. For a good reason. Welcome back to your favorite show on a Friday afternoon. It's Win a Home on Afternoon Express. And remember that hashtag, Win a Home. Our design duos have had double the drama in store for them as they have to design and complete both of their bathrooms in their cluster home. Fortunately, though, they can focus their ideas by getting an objective opinion from their mentors. Eager to wash away the blues from the previous challenge, Team Habitat arrange a meeting with Amanda. We re strategizing. Yeah. Yeah. Amanda's continually saying she needs to reel us in, but like, I think if she has to reel us in anymore, <laughs> it'll reel. be my, my hairstyle and up to. That reel's gonna snap. <laughs> or we're gonna snap. Sure, something's gonna snap. <laughs> sure, Amanda, it's a war zone out there. You feel a little bit like we're not winning. 
yeah. like with the challenges before us. It looks like we need to re-strategize, re-look at Okay, I'll how tell you what going. I think. I, I definitely don't believe it's a case of you not winning. I know it's frustrating. I think what you need to do is have a very good look through the habitats we've given you. You need to look at achieving a more minimalistic, less cluttered look. And that's what Less objet. Uh, we like to add in that object to the max and then it ends up, I guess, overwhelming. Yes, and I'm sure when you look at the images of the completed project or room, mm -hmm. you can see that you could have done away with X, Y, and Z. Back so let's look at some of your ideas for the bathrooms. To start off with the bathrooms, our biggest thing is the budget. Yes. yes. Because we're really trying to at least make an open plan. Like if you look at that image there. Yes. And it's like, how do we achieve such a look? And we spend, I guess, most of the budget on glass. It's going to be very difficult because you've still got quite a lot of the rest of the house to do. You see, now my problem is that it's really careful. You know, we <laughs> always just, with our ideas, think so over the top that people go, whoa, 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 your budget, ma'am. It's not that big. We're not going to be able to afford all that no, mirror, you, you know, unless we go for a spec tile. To cut down on the cost. I think you should definitely look at doing that. We end up with a lounge. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> or a kitchen. <laughs> Disastrous. <laughs> or that pool. The no, house is complete without a lounge or the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted to continue the animal theme into the bathrooms. Yes, you need to do that, definitely. And we'd make that out of Caesar stone, like that basin. Yeah. And for example, you would leave all those objects out. Okay. Not necessary like at all. Yes, it's okay. You see, because we would put those up. Remember? We'd put them Clean in. and simplistic. <laughs> I think so. That's what we need to stick to. to yeah. Clean. Clean. And let's see some more. And we'd want to bring in the gold element also into the bathroom. Yeah, but yeah. very subtly. And no chandeliers. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah about <You're> chandeliers. <laughs> for the bathroom and I don't know if it's going to work or I see them in every not. room. You've used one chandelier, I think it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> you need to look at alternatives. Okay. But what did Amanda say about chandeliers in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. She said, do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> and leave the lights alone. She said, I've got enough lights <laughs> for now. We're at Gibberet and we like in toilet heaven. Welcome to Gibberet. My name is Dorianne, Head of Marketing. You're going to be selecting products from our range and it all starts here with the plumbing. Please come and have a look at the product that we have to show you today. This is a concealed system. All you'll see is the flash plate. You have the small flash for small business and the big flash for big business. This is the thing, we take plumbing very simple. It's like a whole lot of action that goes behind what you do in that. <laughs> they do do. Yeah, they do do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to show you how the product works. So, small flash for three liters. And the six liter flash is for big business. Our product is also water saving. That's why we have a three and six liter flash. The other beauty about the Gibbert is it's completely rim free. So if I demonstrate that to you over here, there's no rim whatsoever, which means you don't need to use all those cleaning detergents underneath where all germs hide. And as you can see, the product is all hung. So underneath, great for tiling, easy to clean. It's guaranteed to take 400 kilos. Some of you are trying to figure how many kilos that is. Basically, if you can fit through the toilet door, you can fit on the toilet. All two of you can fit on the toilet. It's important to select the toilet because you then set the tone for the style of the bathroom. So there are different styles from a shape point of view as well as functionality. All the Gibbet toilets have rim free, which is quite an important feature. It makes it germ free with no area for germs to collect. We also make sure that when you hang the toilet off the floor, it creates a clean space, which allows for extended tiling, which in small bathrooms you'll note it creates an essence of more space, which will be very important to these duos because the spaces that they are working with are rather small. This is our Soteria range, top of the range. Then we've got the shower drainage here, it's a shower channel, which will be great in your showers. We then have a more square look called Xeno 2, comes in two colors, the white. And over here we also have the wood grain. The mirrors are also great to consider. 
When we come through to this section, it's more mid-market. Here we have the square icon range, and over here we have the round icon. Compact in size, so it's great for small spaces. Another option for shower drainage, but I prefer the other one. Here it shows you renovation options, so you understand that gibberets can go in a dry wall as well as into brick wall, not a problem. Another compact toilet, also great for um, small spaces. This area we have the smile range. I see you test driving that. And here we have our more upmarket toilets that clean you with water. Quite a nice feature, if you could afford it. Walking through the showroom, the Gibberet showroom, I mean, it's like a dream. Everything is just yes, yes. It's so yes. difficult to make a decision. Sure, especially, which, yeah. Well, I was going to say, especially when I make a decision and you say, no, no, that's not in the budget. Yeah. Last time we checked, Team HL only had two members. Mira, Mira, on an owl wall, make this team disappear. Boom. <laughs> it's ours. It's ours. Thank goodness for different tastes. Mm, see you at the judging room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Oh, you love the sandwich? Yes. Look at it, I love the seat. I like the fact that it's a soft close, eh? And it can take about 400 kgs. Ooh, okay, Mr. Know-it-all. <laughs> mm. 100, 200, 400, this should prove posterior. <laughs> Here comes Linda by suffering. <laughs> and I'm very impressed that it, that toilet could bear all our weight. And your personalities. <laughs> <laughs> So lucky that we have met with Neo and she's helped us and given us tester pots so that we can go and test it on our wall. And after testing it, we realized that this is not the color we want to go with. Mm. So luckily before we meet Anna Marie, we have time to change our minds quickly. Tell me, have you sorted out the bathrooms? Do you know what is happening in your bathrooms? Uh, let's look at the magazine. I want to show you what I just saw. I am sure you've got your inspiration already, <laughs> but I also have mine. Now I can't take over. You want to do it yourself, tell me. Yeah. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Let me see yours. <laughs> <laughs> you got the correct one. That's perfect. That's so exactly look at the tiles that I saw. They're a little bit marble, like yours. But yeah. in the bathroom, I'm thinking of the shower, you should do a little bit of a herringbone technique in there. Yeah. yeah and I we know. also like the black and white look. Yes. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It really is. I must say, I'm also keen on it. So what, apart from it, just talk me through it. Talk me through what you're going to do with these marble tiles. So the colour that we are looking for is Mr. Don that we are going to use. Uh, it's kitchen and bathrooms from Plasco. So I think it's going to pull that French look in the bathroom. And create a very nice contrast. Yes. Because I think that's what we're looking for. It's almost a French khaki. Mm. That's yeah. very clever. It should look very, very nice with the marble. For our guest bathroom, we wanted to do something similar that talks to what's happening in our guest bedroom. And for soft finishes, we decided to go with... Uh, Paul finally convinced me to go with something pink. So for anything soft, we'd go with a slight, a light pink. <laughs> it's the colour of the season, you spot on. With the necessary guidance, the design duos are ready to turn their bathroom visions into reality and are getting their little rubber ducks in a row. Still ahead, the designs begin to take shape with a creative collaboration and some shopping. Plus, I'll be announcing the winner of last week's bi-weekly competition. Could it be you? Stay right where you are. In proud partnership with Winner Home, the best stone is Caesar Stone. Yourself. 
This is hashtag win a home on Afternoon Express. Now, as our design duos aim to create sophisticated, modern, and spa-like bathrooms, they can add special touches by tapping into their creativity by collaborating with local designers, which is precisely what Team House and Leisure are doing. We at Nicholas's and we're planning a collaboration piece with him of having a bubble effect with lights. So what we'd like to create is actually an idea, an impression of bubbles floating from the ceiling. And we're thinking of one of your pendants. Do you think it's possible? Yes, it's possible. And I think actually if I look at the design that you've drawn here, one of the great pendants to use is the copper fitting one, which will actually give a great feeling towards the bubble effect. And Nicolas, with your cards, what are the colour options? Because we want everything to just disappear into the ceiling. Well, we have different colour options, such as the black and the white, where the white would be a great option to create the bubble effect because uh, it will disappear into your ceiling and the couple will even stand out more. And aside from your pendants, what other products do you have? Other designs that we do this, we do have a toilet stands in black, white and copper as well, where you can actually just hold your toilet paper next to the, the beautiful spots in the bathroom. And then also what we do have is we have loose toilet stand holders. So it's actually portable, movable, and you can have it on your left or your right. And with your bathroom accessories, what's the lead time? So easy for uh, accessories that are not uh, made for to being a light. It takes about five to 10 working days and lights, we usually say 10 to 15 working days. Yo, we are so pressed for time. We don't have like <laughs> that much time to wait. Can we like work around a plan that we can get them sooner than that? We can definitely make a plan through. Luckily we have a few lights in stock and then that uh, which we don't have, we will definitely be able to make for you. So while we're discussing our lighting installation, now Banle is getting a bit carried away and picking all these accessories, bathroom stuff. I don't know with which budget. I feel like you're painting me as the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> so we are shopping for towels and someone decided to play Black Mom Patile. I don't know why. <laughs> why so serious? It's shopping after all. Let's go. Oh, I have to find her. Where is she? I'm gonna find her. You see her? Ah! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> there you are. Okay. So we need to select the towels quickly because we don't have time. Okay. So. I think yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Let's divide and conquer. I'll go this way. The last time you disappeared out of nowhere. Trust me. Just do your thing. Cool. I'll do my thing. No problem. Okay. And for a while, like, we were looking for towels and I just find her looking at herself at the mirror. Because to... I'm cute. <laughs> Not again. Oh, no. What are you doing now? Well, I absolutely think this mirror is like the bomb. Hey, really? Come, follow me. Oh, look at this colors. I think it's a bit too light. Oh, wow, this. this is the one. What do you think? Check it out. Ooh. Blends in nicely, hey? Beautiful. But look at this one, with, oh. and I think it's going to stand out with the black color. So let's go place the order. Let's go place an order. OK. Yes. Hi, sure. Harrod. So welcome, Harrod. Thank you so much for coming on site. As you can see, we've been doing quite some Bang opening in. up and <laughs> bang, bang walls That's down. looking good. Okay, so now we need to decide how we're going to incorporate the Caesar stone right. into our bathroom. But we've made enough space for it. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. We're going to have our basin this side, yeah. which is a floating basin, a gibberish floating basin. Okay. And then we want to see the stone come to top. Come to top yeah. No problem. And That's then the there's going to be a pillar built here, yes. which would like covered in All right. some Caesar no stone. Problem. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then. Yeah, in our Mulan fog. All right. Caesar stone. And then if you just mind your step, so it's a bit of a war zone. <laughs> Please, you're going flat. <laughs> yes. But this is where we plan to do the shower. Okay. So we're going to have a big shower head coming down there. Yeah. Right, so your shower, I mean, quite a big shower. So I would suggest maybe let's put a nice bench there. That would Caesar be stone lovely. bench. So, so you can have a. Sit there and shave your legs and sure. all that. Thing. Yes, for the girls. You <laughs> yes. need, need a leg up. Yes, for our girls. And, and then also maybe on this side for your vanity, let's put a floating shelf or two up 
like some shelves on that wall. Shelves, so you can pack fabulous. your pack your stuff here on the Colors. side. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. Your fabulous. Team Habitat has already created a door between the guest bedroom and the second bathroom. To complete that vision, they're considering toning down their initial design ideas. We decided for our guest bathroom with the zebra and the Caesar stone. It might be the jungle fever again. <laughs> so we thought maybe we keep it playing with the tiles and then play a lot in the main master bathroom. Yeah. So the master bathroom is going to be our Caesar stone playground. Monument. <laughs> yes, the monument is Caesar stone. Your pillar, you know if it's going to be square around it? Well, I'm hoping for a square. Yeah, because all our taps and that yes. we've gone for a square shape. Probably the better option as well. I mean, it's much easier to do that. It looks better. Okay, yeah. so definitely um, square. Yes, and then once that's installed, then we'll come out and do a measurement for you again. Okay. Excellent. So well, thank you, Harold. It really helps when you come on to site and you help us put this vision together. Yeah. No worries. No, it really yeah. helps. Uh, thank you. It's going to look good. Sure, I hope so. We've been losing, so I hope to win this round. <laughs> we have to. Uh, we have to. <laughs> we have to. Nah, cool. While our design duos compete for rewards and a big prize of their own, the real winner in this competition is you. To enter, simply visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. This is your entry into the bi-weekly giveaway with fantastic prizes up for grabs, as well as automatically entering you into the draw for the grand prize, your choice of one of the three fully designed cluster homes at the Eye of Africa estate, a prize worth more than three million rand. So I'm happy today to announce that the winner of our last bi-weekly prize, plus con paint to the value of 5,000 Rand, is Sylvia Mohapi from Centurion. Congratulations. You voted for your favorite team, Team VC. So very, very well done to you, Sylvia. Now, the next prize for our bi-weekly giveaway is a Grower's Smart Control rain shower system worth, listen to this, over 11,000 Rand. So head over to privateproperty.co.za and enter for your chance to win big now. As we've seen so far, running a full design project is hectic. But what's it like to run an estate? After the break, we get down to those nitty gritties in our weekly private property advice segment. So you stay right where you are and I'll see you after this cuppa. <laughs> Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property. A home for everyone. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express on SABC3. Now, on this series of Winner Home, we featured some of the most beautiful and pristine estates around South Africa. But there's a lot of work that goes into running these estates behind the scenes and ensuring that everything goes according to plan. Today, we have Andrew Thompson, Director of Development for Elan Property Group, in studio to give us a behind-the-scenes look at the day-to-day -day running of an estate. Welcome to our loft. Thanks very much, Dan. Great to be here. Andrew, so let's first unpack your story. I mean, tell us about what you do, because I've never actually heard of a position like this, and it's a really exciting position to be in. Dan, yeah, I've been with the Eland Property Group for around about 12 years now. Mm -hmm. I come from a hospitality background, uh, working through various hotels in Southern Africa. And with that, that expertise, joined the uh, property development company, the Eland Property Group, based in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal. Mm -hmm. And we've had the opportunity to develop with WBHO uh, an estate called Sambiti Eco Estate oh, yes. and Blytdale Coastal Estate, just north of Durban. Sure, they're beautiful. What does it mean to develop an estate? I mean, like, are you high level thinking about the ideas of these estates, or does an investor come to you and say, I want to build an estate? What are your ideas? How does it all work? Our plan is to go identify land in key destinations, to create new destinations where people will travel to, uh, okay. to go reside. And uh, gated communities like Sambiti Eco Estate, like Blythdale Coastal Estate, mm. they're catalytic by nature, large scale developments. Uh, an example of Blytdale Coastal Estate is 1,000 hectares, 3 kilometers of coastline, 320 hectares of indigenous forest in a beautiful destination, great weather, and unlocking around about 4,000 housing, housing opportunities. Wow, so sorry. the back end of it is really about estate management. As you go through your zoning processes, you appoint your professional teams, you create the, the vision of what the development's going to be and how it's going to be created and uh, eventually get to a point where you launch out into the market space mm. and launch and gather momentum into yeah. sales on the development itself. 
To be honest, it sounds almost quite corporate in this, the way that it's set up because you have to consider all these different elements. Um, but it's always about the person that's going to be living there. I think it's a very important part of your job is to consider who's going to be living there. And it might be me, it might be one of our viewers who gets to win this home. And they're always considering what kind of lifestyle do I want? So how do you go about preventing or, or ensuring that the person that's going to live on the estate gets an, a lifestyle that they love and enjoy without feeling like they're confined and restricted to all of these different boundaries? I think certainly we've moved and advanced in terms of how estates were done historically. We look at uh, lifestyle opportunities internal to the estate. So it's not just oh, okay. purely about security. It's not just purely about the vision and the mm. quality of the gatehouse. What's very key is the internal offering. Mm. So we look at community centers. We look at country clubs. We do look at golf. We look at mountain biking, trail running facilities. But you want to ensure that there's a safe and, and mm. secure environment that people live in. One thing that is also really important to consider is the person managing that estate. I mean, who is that person? And should we really consider them when it comes to living on an estate? Absolutely. I think the estate manager or the appointment of that estate manager is absolutely key. Okay. They play a role of being the municipal manager or the mayor of, of the city <laughs> as such. Do they knock and, on your door and bring cookies and things and introduce <laughs> you to their family? If they're really good, they will do that, okay. most certainly. But I think uh, the estate manager of today, especially on the large-scale volume developments like yeah. we do, uh, you could start attracting facilities management companies. You mm. could look at hospitality groups in, in, in order to play that role. It's really critical that the estate manager, who's, whoever is overseeing the estate, mm. obviously uh, carries your brand well and uh, ensures what is promised through that estate living mm. is the quality and the lifestyle that uh, you as an end user are wanting to partake in. How does it all work behind the scenes on a day-to-day -day basis with these estates? I think there are quite a few chimneys in terms of, call it the departments within the estate, and those departments are absolutely critical. Okay. So levy collection in order to attract the revenues, mm. uh, the financial management of the estate is absolutely critical. Uh, administration, operational management, maintenance, mm. and even more so today, conservation and how you mm. manage the conservation aspect of the estate. Mm. A lot of the estates are moving towards eco, green living environment. We're looking at uh, cashless societies. Uh, we're oh, looking at awesome. keyless societies. Mm. We're looking at doing developments where there's frictionless access into the estate. Mm. So that does come back to security. But I think this conservation side of things is mm. absolutely critical. Okay. How you manage the fauna, the flora, the small game species internal to your environment mm. and how the people living on that estate can actually enjoy the living with these small game species surrounding our own properties. I love that because I, I, as an end user, I would definitely want to make sure that that's what you're considering. I mean, as much as I'm in it for the security and all the facilities and the perfectly run pristine grasses or whatever it might be, I'm really interested in those sort of things. It makes it personal to who I am as an individual. So there's so much going on behind the scenes. I mean, excuse me, I've got terrible puns half the time always. And so it sounds like a very busy estate of affairs. <laughs> Andrew, certainly. Thanks for all of your advice today. So there you have it. It's clearly a lot of work that goes into keeping the estate pristine and running. It's the estate of affairs, as you know. One of the most pristine and well-run estates in South Africa is the Eye of Africa estate. And on this season of Winner Home, you stand a chance of winning a beautiful home on this estate. All you have to do is log on to privateproperty.co.za and answer a very easy question. Now, after the break, I take a look at the progress that each of our design duos have made at the halfway mark of their bathroom challenge. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express exclusively on SABC3. And we hope you've been tweeting away with that hashtag WinAHome. Now, the first stage of the bathroom design challenge has seen the design duos getting advice and visiting the showrooms of various bathroom product brands. Now, it feels like Christmas in August as the sponsored products arrive on site. In their master bedroom, Team House and Leisure have had a large planter box built to separate the sleeping space from the ensuite. They plan to clad it in Caesar zone for a luxurious look. Our planter box is in now and we're quite happy about how it's turning out so far. But we might not have plants. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have those plants. We can cut out like your lights. No. <laughs> so, yes. It needs to look like a planter box at the end because that's like the whole idea of having it there. Otherwise, it might as well just go. Oh, yes. Over at Team VC's house, there's great excitement as their Gilbert toilet systems arrive for installation. Our stuff is here. Yes, we're, we're so very excited. excited. 
This is not small business. It's big business. Ah, come. We're so excited for all our things being delivered. Yo, like if you look at behind the scene of what's going on, the technology that's going behind those bathrooms, it's actually a good investment. Honestly speaking, they are really, really, really technological. Gro is here to deliver our stuff and we are so excited. We can't even wait for the delivery van to stop. Our Libra tub is here. You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> And I'm thinking that I can grab a tub on my own. <laughs> Epic <And> fail. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. I need help. Don't do it, baby. Just pull. And this one is screaming like an animal. I'm like, what's happening now? Ah, I'm not about to carry help. Help! Help! <laughs> but then luckily the guys are here to help us offload the bathtub, the bathtub into the house. So they made our life so much easier. I was not meant to carry anything in life. <laughs> As the last boxes leave the delivery van, another exciting delivery is happening inside the bathroom, which will set the stage for the rest of the installations. The planter box is being clad in its elegant Mont Blanc Caesar stone, and Team House and Leisure have a firm idea of how to arrange their bathroom. We want our bathtub centered to the plant box, because that's our statement piece. That's like the first thing you see as you walk into the yes. bathroom. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Team Habitat have a meeting with their contractor to discuss the ensuite bathroom. We're in the master bedroom with James, our contractor, James from Kroonbold. But we call him James Lee. This rugby guy mm. with rugby arms. We were James, we love your work. Let's scrub. Yes. <laughs> hakata, hakata. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> we better win this challenge. No, we better win this challenge. No, we had a good scrub with Ooh. James. No, we did. But he did good work. I mean, he has been working hard in that bathroom. So we really love James and what he's doing. We had to hug it out. No, we had to. Honey. Oh, what do you think? This wall is amazing. No. You know, the last time we got here, we were just bricks, bricks, bricks. We're That's getting there. Amazing. You know, it's been hard work. The, it took a bit of time. But yeah, we've done it. And I mean, you can see the breaking down the walls created a lot of extra space and volume here. And we're loving it. It's looking good. My word. Sure. No. sure. And I see you got the bar. Sure. Extra large. Sure. Do you think it will fit, James? Uh, look, I mean, if we can fit you in a double D bra, I'm sure we can make it. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, he's in my double Ds that I was accessorizing my head to with. James, leave my bra out of this. Leave my tartar alone and get back to the plumbing for that beautiful Grover bathtub. Mmm! Go like give a red flash, please the same Sure, bathroom. I mean it's a marriage of just high-end brands that we're gonna make sure it's so nice, <laughs> so nice. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to imagine relaxing in a stylish bathroom, but these design duos have no time to chill. I paid a visit on site to have a look at the progress at the halfway mark. Team VC's big ideas for their bathroom have hit a little snag. The impressive herringbone pattern they want to do requires more tiles than they've bought, and budget is a problem. You two look very stressed at the moment. I mean, what's going on in there? So here's the thing. We're trying to make the, the tiles work because of the, the pattern that we're doing. We're doing a herringbone for the whole shower, but we're going to shot tiles. So we're going to try and make herringbone only in one wall and the floor and make the other walls like straight so that we can have enough tiles because if we're already over budget and we don't want to overspend more. So what are the big dreams and visions for both of your different bathrooms? In the main bathroom, we've gone with a marble look and feel, marble and black and white. So it looks very Classic. classical, but then, yes, but has, modern. Yeah, but it has those elements of uh, raw type of concrete jungle because if you look at marble and other stuff, these are all quads that are from the earth. In our guest bathroom, we've decided to carry through the same theme that's happening in the guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. We also, in our main bathroom, have beautiful gold touches. And obviously we have a lovely mirror, <laughs> my favorite thing. And <laughs> all of that is gonna bring the wow into it. So we don't have one exact statement piece, but all together, it's gonna make for an entire wow. Cool, we've approached the halfway mark. There's still a little bit of time. What still needs to be done? How far are you? How's the timing going? If we finish on time, yeah, we'll really know that we are good planners. <laughs> There's still a lot to do. There's still a lot. But like a bathroom we, is not that simple. Like a, Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, generally bathroom takes three to four weeks in yeah. a normal environment. So this is definitely a stretch and a push. And it's two bathrooms. Oh. So you can imagine. 
Well, talking of two, Team House and Leisure have won the first two challenges, so the pressure is on to maintain that winning streak. Daniel. Hi, Danilo. Yes. You guys look very excited. What's going on in here? He's very the excited fun. one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me everything. I want to know the juicy details. I was excited until we were told that we need to get three more boxes of towels because our towels are not going to be enough. So that's quite stressful because we don't have the budget for that. And, and then also our light installation is, great, is already up. It is a collaboration with Lumen. They came in this morning to do the installation. And but then he's still stressing me about the levels. He wants one to go down. Yes, because like, it needs to create a bubble effect. I'm like, like you'll deal with that. I'm done stressing about it. <laughs> now listen, I'm very protective over our viewers and one of them could potentially win a home and they might even choose your home. So sell these bathrooms to us. What are your big plans for the guest bathroom as well as your master bathroom here? For the master bathroom, what's happening is that this is going to be our planter box. So plants are going to, trees are going to grow up here? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's huge, okay. And then that's gonna serve as like a screen for a bit of privacy between the bedroom and the bathroom. And, and it's cladded in scissor stone. In scissor stone. How Can't amazing get is better that? better than that. <laughs> and then the same stone that we're using here, it repeats itself in the shower and around the window. For the guest bathroom, so we're continuing from the guest bedroom where it's curated, like there's a lot of art happening there. It's almost like a mini gallery. Right, so you guys have won both previous challenges. I mean, what's gonna be the, the grand idea that's gonna make sure you win a third one? Because it's really gonna take a lot of convincing from those judges. We do believe that they are gonna be quite impressed because we took like that risk of merging the master bedroom with the bathrooms, which is not really that much of a common thing. So, and we broke a wall. Yeah, we took down a whole wall. Yes. Little do they know that Team Habitat have also broken down a wall and have made bold design choices. Eager for a win, this duo isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. We've arrived in the jungle for Team Habitat at the halfway mark. And it seems like lots of work is being done. Whew, you too. <laughs> uh, Bia, Brad, you can stop that for a second. Yowza, the dust. Whew. You're telling me about the dust. Now that the dust is settling, both figuratively and uh, literally, I mean, what's the big plan? How are you guys doing at the halfway mark? Sure. Really? Well, as you can see, it's a war zone. <laughs> but we are ready. We are getting the spaces ready to be tiled wall to wall. So once it's like basically all the dust settles, then we get to the real work where we install the toilets, the Gibbera toilets, we install the bath basins yeah. and the grower taps, beautiful square taps. Beautiful. Mm, it's gonna get <laughs> dazzling. Yeah. All you need is some bubbles and bubble bath. <laughs> I mean, know you guys love pretty things, so what's the big dream vision plan for the two different bathrooms? Well, the guest bathroom, we want to do a zebra crossing theme, bringing black and white tiles. So going from that zebra guest bedroom into a zebra crossing into the library. Yeah. Black and white and with gold. Absolutely. Always. The main bathroom, we're going to use a lot of Caesar stone. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Moulin fog. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to have shelving out of Caesar stone. We're going to put Caesar stone in the shower, which is a big rain shower allure shower head. So when you bath in there, you are the master. Yeah, yeah. There's no other way about it's it. It's the lion's den. Yes, with a big bathtub from yes. Goa. Yeah. We're ready with our outfits to jump in the bath. We're just waiting for the bath to be put in. And for guys who tend to go over budget every single time, you've got outfits, you've got glasses. Are you guys going to come in on budget? This yeah. is more construction yeah. attire. Yeah. To Lock the dust from my eyes. This is to make sure when I go out after this, it's boom! <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but budget uh, is tight. Like my panty line. And if it gets any tighter, it's about a snap! But we <laughs> just on that, we just on the budget. Although all three bathrooms seem far from finished, the design duos just need to maintain a good pace of work, and we will see brilliant bathrooms at the end of this challenge. I knew it. A double challenge means double the drama for our design duos. Now with so much to do and so little time and their budget almost spent, the designers might be flying off their high-end bathroom handles. Next week, we reveal those bathrooms and it's up to the judges to decide which duos' designs are hot, hot, hot and which are merely tepid. The big question is, can Team House and Leisure clock up a third win or has the time finally come for Team VC or Team Habitat to be showered in glory? You don't want to miss out on the action next week right here on Winner Home on Afternoon Express. From me, Danilo Cristo, it's time for me to say goodbye, have a great weekend and good night. Bye. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property. 
home for everyone. Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.